All right, so we have gameplay for a quiet place to road ahead. Just get your videos go, man. All right, so we actually checked out this trailer. Um, I believe last week. It looked it looked kind of scary. Um, you guys know how I am about scary games. Hi there, I'm Manuel Muavero, lead game designer of Stormine Games. What's up, bro? And today I have the privilege of talking to you about the hide and seek gameplay that we have built for a quiet place, the road ahead. Oh! 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 In a quiet place movie franchise, we've seen how the creatures invaded Earth. In the road ahead, you'll experience navigating a silent world, quietly sneaking by and outsmarting these apex predators. Nope. Using mm -hmm. whatever you can find in your environment for your advantage. Bro, look at his you arms! You hide yourself behind objects in bushes or even cardboard boxes. Bro, he's However, built like Kevin Durant! Hiding tactics are ineffective against the creatures as they respond to auditory cues rather than the visual ones. So, for the benefit of your survival, we've given you a flashlight. That's it. While it doesn't directly help you That's as a it. tool for noise reduction or distraction, it does help you navigate many of the dark spaces in the game so that you can see and avoid all things that might make noise around you. You'll also be equipped with a phonometer, a tool that measures sound. The right column on a phonometer indicates how much sound you are making, while the left column indicates how much ambient noise is around you. For okay. instance, if you are standing near running water, it's gonna be high. the ambient noise levels may be quite high. This gives you the chance to make sounds that are masked by the water and stay undetected by any nearby creatures. Oh, okay. Finding ambient sound sources can be quite rare though, so, most of the time, you'll need to find other things to work with. Empty bottles, for instance, can be picked up and thrown to create a loud distraction to attract the attention of the creatures. Sandbags, oh my on the oh other no. hand, give you an opportunity to Look at your own silent pathways across surfaces that will have otherwise generate a lot of sound when walking over. Okay, so the sand is and like, some okay. Places that still have functional electricity, you may even find ways of temporarily stunning creatures. Throughout this whole game, wild and seek, your main goal is always finding your way to safety. This can be done by following specific directions left behind by other survivors, or with a little ingenuity and puzzle solving. Oh, we got puzzles! But whatever you do, just don't make us. Oh no! Yo, he's about to give me the backhand of death. October 17th. Ugh. All right, man. I didn't even know I had hot sauce on my shirt. But listen, man. Here's what it is. I got to change. I got to change shirts anyway. Um. Okay. React to this game last week. I thought it was pretty cool. It was scary at the same time. You guys know how I am about scary games. I can barely handle them. Um, here's one thing I would say about this, though. This game does look pretty cool. You know why? Because of this thing right here. Even though this thing right here looks scary, in order for a game to like be really good and like iconic, or in order for a scary game to be like really cool and like iconic and like really like rememberable and stuff like that, is remember rememberable? Did I just make that word up? Surely that's a word. I think that's a word. But like in order for like like a scary game to be like remembered by like a lot of people, like the like the like the thing that's chasing you, like the monster or whatever. Or or, or 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 creature or whatever it gotta be like cool looking like or, or, or like its face gotta be like memorable so like alien isolation we all remember like you know what like what those aliens like aliens like we all um 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 um, um god of war I, no i said god of war oh my god bro I'm, listen i'm until dawn until dawn's a scary game but at the same time it's like a drama type of like decision making game um one of my favorite games of all time um the windigo we are we all you know like remember what the windigo looks like this could look very memorable i can't lie this could look very memorable um when i play this game <sighs> yeah bro bro i don't want to though like i don't <sighs> bro y'all know how i am with scary games like yes if i was really into scary games i would buy the game like that but since i'm not into scary games um i gotta be completely honest with you um for content, I'll play it. But just for like chilling, no. Mm -mm, nope. Nope. 
I don't play any like uh, scary games behind closed doors or whatever. I don't. I don't get like some of you guys may get that thrill or whatever. I don't get that thrill. Um, I like being my nice, peaceful self. I, I don't like to get a thrill by having something built like Kevin Durant chasing me. This this is a nasty looking creature. Um, he's fast too. He moves like some type of spider. Uh, this creature right here is menacing right now. I can't lie to you, bro. This thing was it was like real, bro. I'll give this thing the nice, fresh 12 and a half Air Force One. I can't lie to you, bro. This thing is getting the straight uh, church, church shoot treatment. I promise you. Because this thing right here is nasty looking. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this game right here? It comes out October 17th. A lot of great games are coming out in October. So we're going to have a busy October for this channel. Make sure you guys sub up right now. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. And...